This video is to help the men that might want to become passport brothers but think that they might not be able to afford it. Everyone talks about how great it is to live in Brazil, the beautiful women, the wonderful beaches, and how much living in a major city costs, such as Rio de Janeiro or Sao Paulo. Many will look at YouTube videos and say they cannot afford to live in Brazil. It costs less to live in Brazil than in the Philippines, and with a higher standard of living. Plus, Brazil provides free healthcare to everyone, which includes visitors, tourists, everyone. Some people have been able to get accommodations in Thailand for as little as 10 United States dollars a night, or as little as 100 United States dollars a month. The point is, do your research. Things might not cost as much as you believe or think. Links to the video and the YouTube channel I will mention in this video are in the description. This man has been traveling the world for over 13 years, and for the past 4 years, he has been traveling the world with his Malaysian girlfriend. They have traveled all over Mexico, Central America, South America, and Southeast Asia. However, they can afford it because they do not stay in major cities. His YouTube channel provides information on how to travel the world cheaply. His budget is between 1,000 to 2,000 United States dollars a month, which includes food, accommodations, transportation, and the cost of two airplane tickets. He makes his money from the internet. The following clips are from one of his videos regarding moving to Brazil and living in one of the suburbs of a major city. Thus, this video is about how much it costs to live in a suburb or right outside of a major city in Brazil. However, before we get into how much it costs to live in Brazil, let's first talk about how much it costs to fly to Brazil from the United States. This is the Google Flights website. I am coming from Chicago and going to Rio de Janeiro, and I want a round trip ticket. As you can see, it cost about 800 United States dollars. However, it only costs 500 United States dollars for a round trip ticket to Rome, Italy, and 400 United States dollars to Cartagena, Colombia. The point is that things might not cost as much as you think or believe. I know people who got a round trip plane ticket to Thailand or the Philippines for about 800 United States dollars. And where the person sitting next to him on the same airplane paid over 1,600 United States dollars. However, it depends on the time of year you fly, if you are going on a weekend compared to a weekday, and how much in advance you purchase the plane ticket. The man says that his budget is 500 United States dollars. However, he is paying rent for his two bedroom apartment, and rent on a two bedroom house for his niece. When you take out the rent he is paying for the two bedroom house, then his budget drops to 420 United States dollars. I think that paying 80 United States dollars a month for a house is a good price. So you're in Brazil, right? Yes, yes, I'm in uh, the state of Bahia, Brazil, in the northeast of Brazil, in a small city about three hours from the state capital, Salvador. Here in Brazil, uh, you either live in a big city like the, a cap, every state has a big capital, right. or Sao Paulo or Rio, or you live in what's called the interior, the interior. Here, my rent. I'll start with that. I okay. live in a beautiful brand new condominium, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, brand new, a little garden, private garden. There's a huge swimming pool, a gym and a condo complex. For all of that, I pay $170 a month. You know, here I have a gym and a, and a beautiful swimming pool. Uh, there is a, a uh, kind of a barbecue and bar area. And as I said, my rent is one seventy a month, uh, all by myself, all to myself. Electricity, I pay uh, approximately two or uh, forty dollars a month. Right. Uh, that's a little high. My my brother in law always uh, scolds me for having such a high electricity bill. The water bill comes to twenty dollars a month. Internet. A uh, good, strong, unlimited internet, fourteen dollars a month. Cell phone, great cell phone service, unlimited, ten dollars a month. Food, I budget one hundred and twenty dollars a month. I'm wow. a vegetarian. Brazil is the land of tropical yeah. root, fruits and fresh, gorgeous vegetables. And so you're never going to, you can eat very well and very cheaply and very healthily here in Brazil for not much money. $46 I budget for my medications. 
Okay. Uh, about uh, three and a half years ago, back up in San Francisco, I had a stroke, <laughs> much to my shock. And uh, I'm fine now, no problems, but I do have to take four medications a day. You know, one just one of them alone was, I, w- I was a little worried about that because obviously I can't get Medicare here. Right. But I, one of the, just one of those med- medications alone, if you have to pay for them, is $300 up in the United States. My, my four med- meds are only a total of 46 a month. You can just, you know, you don't need a prescription, just like in Mexico and a lot of places in Latin America. You just go to the drugstore, show them what you want. As long as it's not a psychotropic uh, uh, medication, uh, you can get anything you need and want for very low. And as I said, I didn't need to get a, a prescription. Uh, my brother-in-law just took me to the pharmacy. They didn't bash a lie. I just showed them my American prescription. I showed them the, the you know the bottle, right from Walgreens. They yeah. looked at it and they got me the Brazilian equivalent, which are generics here. But right. let me tell you about the healthcare system here. I've I've gone to the doctor twice in the six months I've been here. I got severe uh, dehydration here. I wasn't drinking enough liquids, and it's hot. Uh, I thought I was having another stroke. It felt like a stroke. I went to the public hospital. I got, they took me right away, didn't bat an eye, didn't ask me for anything except for my name, gave me an IV, gave me a, a CAT scan, and it was all entirely free. The Brazilian constitution guarantees free access to healthcare to everyone, even if you're a tourist, even wow. if you're uh, a foreigner, even if uh, you're just on a resident visa like I am. That's great. It's amazing. Is it fabulous? No, I don't know if I'd want to have brain surgery. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to wait a long time in the waiting room. Right, uh, right. It could be a little hectic, especially if you're getting care in the big city. Right. But it's there. It's right. there if, if you need it. And as I said, my experience was great. Another time I just had a small thing. I needed a dermatologist and I went to a private doctor and that was like $20. Okay. Uh, get a small thing removed from my face. So I find healthcare extremely accessible. 18 year old niece just moved into it and I pay her rent. Her rent is $80 a month for a two bedroom <laughs> house with a bathroom and a backyard. That's wow. how cheap rents are here. So that brings my total monthly expenses to 2,500 reais or $500 US dollars a month. I've stayed in Airbnbs all around the world for as little as eleven dollars a night. Right. And Airbnb to me is a great thing. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video.